Hello YouTubers! Today I'm going to be doing a review on the much talked about Naked palette from Urban Decay. Um, I finally got my hands on one of these. Um, they came kind of late to the Sephora in my city and I had written my name down and I got the call a couple weeks later so I had to go down and get one and they were completely sold out. I I don't know what it's like now. It's been like about a week since I got this, so I don't know if it's gotten easier to find or if it's still one of those things that everyone's like really trying hard to find, but I was really happy to get mine because I've missed out on so many of the Urban Decay palettes in the past. Like, I was gonna go buy the first book of shadows and then the second book of shadows and the Alice in Wonderland palette, and every time I go to get over to my um, Sephora, it'd be sold out, and then I'd go online, it'd be sold out, and yeah, anyways point is I'm really really happy to have this um, it's I think it's such a great deal you get 12 it's 12 full-sized Urban Decay eyeshadows and a double-ended 24-7 eyeliner pencil and a mini Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer potion and it was $53 Canadian I believe it's $45 American and that I think is such a good deal because Urban Decay eyeshadows are like $24 each Canadian or $17 each American or something like that. So it's like, it's got like a over $200 value is what I've read online. And uh, I just think it's beautiful. It's really a beautiful color. So I'm just going to take the eyeliner out so I can like hold it. Um, really beautiful neutral colors, but not just, not boring at all. Not at all. Like you could make so many different looks with this. I'm not even kidding. Um... Basically, a lot of people in the past have complained about Urban Decay palettes being all really sparkly, shimmery, glittery, chunky eyeshadows. And yeah, the colors are fun, but it's really hard to put a look together with just one of their pa older palettes because you need like, you know, sometimes you need a brow highlight shade, a brow highlight shade or like a dark shade or a matte shade. You don't want to look like you have shimmer all from your lid to your eyebrow bone. So this palette is really nice because there's some really shimmery shades and then there's some matte shades and some satin shades so you can do a really beautiful kind of multi-dimensional look with it. There's a bug or something. Um, and yeah it goes from everything from like the lightest of the colors to like a dark almost black navy and dark gunmetal gray. Um, yeah I really really like this. The eyeshadows themselves are super pigmented, buttery soft, and really easy to blend without any fallout. I haven't had a problem with any of the eyeshadows, and I've used them all. The only one that I didn't have the best time with is um, this one, Sidecar, right here. It's a beautiful, warm taupe color, but it has silver glitter in it, and um, I put it on after I did my whole foundation and everything, and the glitter actually fell out, like, fell off onto my face. Um, and then I looked like I had glitter all over my face, and my boyfriend was like, why did you put glitter all over your face? I'm like, I did it! It fell over my eyeshadow. Um, so, yeah, just be careful. Like, what I would recommend, because I still love the color so much that I'm still going to use it, is um, I, using a really sticky base, first of all, and second of all, putting it on before you apply your foundation, so that if it falls out, you can just wipe it up and then apply your foundation. It's nice because some of the colors are really warm toned, some of the colors are really cool toned, but overall this would work for really anybody. Like, they're neutrals, but they're still interesting, and like, you know, half-baked is really, really warm toned, but gunmetal and, you know, sidecar are really cool toned, so you can do a lot of neutral looks without wearing the same thing every day. I like the packaging actually quite a bit. It's like kind of velvety cu covered um, palette and I like the size it's like perfect you could throw this in your purse without it being too big um, I took it with me on my trip to Vegas and there was no issues there I just threw it in my carry-on because I was afraid they would lose my luggage and I'd be so sad if I lost this um, and yeah it just like is magnet to open and then there's a little mirror here and then it's like kind of cardboard, but it's pretty durable. I haven't had any issues with the packaging. And yeah, then the eyeshadows and the eyeliner sits here. And there's no place inside the palette for the primer potion, but that's okay. I just throw that in my makeup bag. Um, yeah, so really, really, really impressed with the eyeshadow quality, pigmentation, texture. 
everything of these eyeshadows. Like, I've used this palette literally every day since I got it. It comes with the colors Zero and Whiskey on the um, eyeliner pencil, and I really like these eyeliners. I'm sure a lot of you have heard reviews about them anyways, but basically, they're really, really creamy, waterproof pencil eyeliners, and um, the Zero is just like a really dark matte black. And then Whiskey, I believe this is a limited edition color, and by the way, five of the 12 colors in the palette for the shadows are also limited edition. Um, and then, the, yeah, the Whiskey is like a warm matte brown. And, yeah, I, the eye pencils are really great. They don't stay on my waterline very well, but a lot of people say that they do. So, um, I used to use them all the time, but I feel like my eyes are watering more or something and smudging more. So I usually just use gel eyeliner on my waterline. But I found this really good. If I use a, I do a smoky eye, either like a dark black smoky eye or a brown smoky eye, I'll just like draw this along the, um, upper lash line and it's so creamy that it draws really well and then just take a q-tip and like blend over it and it'll be really nice and like soft and and work really really well with the smoky eyes and of course Urban Decay Primer Potion it's amazing we all know it packaging kind of sucks because you can't always get it out at the end but this is perfect little travel size bottle um, I also brought this with me to Vegas because it was smaller than my Too Faced shadow I'm sure it's not by like a big amount or anything but it's just nice to have an extra one especially if you do travel a lot or whatever and now they do have the slanted brush on the primer potion so it is easier to get it all out as opposed to having to cut the bottle open and whatever like some people do have to or have done before um so yeah I I really really I give this palette an A plus like no issues not even one. Like, I have no, no problems with it. I'm so impressed. So happy I bought this. I'm going to do a couple um, tutorials using this. At least a couple. And I'll probably end up using it in tutorials for a while. Um, but so far what I'm planning is I'm going to do one tutorial, like a nice light everyday kind of shimmery pretty look. And then I'm going to do a smoky eye. And that's what I think, but I might end up either switching it up or doing like even one more look because that's how much I love this. I hope you guys check it out. I hope you guys can get your hands on one of these because I know that they've been sold out everywhere since this has been released. But I'm sure once it dies, like once the hype dies down, hopefully if they keep it out for a while, um, you know, I do recommend it. Something that I think would be, you know, really useful to pretty much everybody if you like wearing neutral looks. Um, and I don't know. I asked the girl at Sephora and nobody knows for sure if this is limited edition or not or if this is permanent. If you do know, that would be great if you could just comment in the bottom bar because, or not in the bottom bar, in the comments area because I would really like to know because I know a lot of my friends want this and I'm like, well, they're sold out. So hopefully it's not limited edition and it doesn't just disappear like all the other ones then you can go buy it on eBay for like three times as much as you, it was originally priced. So yeah, I hope you really enjoy this. Stay tuned because I'm going to be um, doing at least two tutorials using just the shadows in this palette. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I have recently posted my Vegas haul videos, so you can check those out as well if you just want to see what I bought there on my trip. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You don't even know. Like, some people will put comments, like, so, such nice things. It just completely makes my day. So subscribe if you're interested because I have a lot more coming. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.